Schachter Singer Two Factor Theory. The Schachter Singer Two Factor Theory is an important concept in psychology that explains how we experience emotions. Developed by psychologist Stanley Schachter and Jerome E. Singer in 1962, the theory suggests that emotions are the result of two main factors: physical arousal and a cognitive label. In simpler terms, the theory says that how we feel emotionally depends on both what is happening in our bodies and how we interpret or think about what is going on. To make this easy to understand, let's imagine a situation: you're walking down a dark alley at night, and suddenly you hear footsteps behind you. Your heart starts to race, your palms get sweaty, and you feel a burst of energy. According to the Schachter Singer theory, these physical reactions, your racing heart and sweaty palms, are not enough on their own to create an emotion. Instead, you need to assess the situation and label your feelings. If you think I'm in danger, you'll likely experience the emotion of fear. But if you turn around and see it's your friend walking behind you, you might instead feel relief or even amusement. Because now you know there's no threat. The key point of this theory is that emotions are not just automatic responses to what happens to us; they also depend on how we think about and interpret those events. The physical sensations of excitement, fear, or anger might feel similar, but the emotion we experience depends on how we label those sensations. This theory was different from earlier ideas about emotions. Before Schachter and Singer, many psychologists believed that emotions were purely the result of physical changes in the body. For example, the James Lang theory suggested that emotions happen because of specific physiological responses, like feeling happy because you smile or feeling scared because your heart is racing. Schachter and Singer added the important element of thinking or cognitive appraisal, which means how we understand and interpret what's happening. They tested their theory with an interesting experiment. They gave participants an injection of adrenaline, a hormone that increases heart rate and creates physical arousal, and told them it was a vitamin to test their vision. Some participants were informed about the real effects of the injection, while others were not. Then they were placed in different situations designed to evoke either happiness or anger. What Schachter and Singer found was that the people who were not told about the effects of the injection relied on their surroundings to figure out what emotion they were feeling. If they were in a happy environment, they labeled their physical arousal as happiness. If they were in an angry environment, they labeled it as anger. This experiment showed that physical arousal alone isn't enough to create emotions. How we interpret the situation matters too. Another example can help explain this. Imagine you've just finished a big workout. Your heart is pounding and you're sweating. Suddenly, you get a call with great news: you got a promotion at work. Because your body is already in a state of arousal from the workout, you might feel extra excited and energized by the good news. In this case, the physical arousal from exercising is present, but when combined with the positive news. You label your emotional state as happiness or excitement, but if you had received bad news instead, you might have labeled the same physical state as anger or frustration. In summary, the Schachter Singer two-factor theory says that two things must happen for us to feel emotions. First, we experience physical arousal, and second, we interpret or label that arousal based on the situation we are in. The cognitive label we apply determines which emotion we feel. This theory also helps explain why people sometimes experience different emotions in similar situations. For example, let's say two people are both in a crowded, noisy room. 
One person might feel energized and excited by the noise and activity, while another person might feel anxious and overwhelmed. According to the Schachter Singer theory, both people might experience physical arousal, such as an increased heart rate, but how they interpret that arousal, whether they see the environment as fun or stressful, determines whether they feel excitement or anxiety. The two-factor theory has had a big influence on how we understand emotions today. It shows that emotions are more complex than just physical reactions. Our thoughts and interpretations play a key role in shaping how we feel. It also explains why different people can react to the same situation in very different ways, depending on their past experiences, expectations, and how they think about what's happening. In everyday life, this theory suggests that by changing how we think about a situation, we might be able to change how we feel about it. For example, if you're feeling anxious about a big presentation, you might be able to reduce your anxiety by reinterpreting your physical sensations. Instead of thinking, I'm nervous, you could tell yourself, my body is preparing to do something important. This cognitive reappraisal might help you feel more confident and less anxious. The Schachter Singer two-factor theory also has practical applications in areas like therapy and stress management. Therapists can help people change the way they interpret their physical responses to stressful situations, which can lead to more positive emotional outcomes. Similarly, understanding that physical arousal can be interpreted in different ways might help people manage their emotions better in challenging situations. In conclusion, the Schachter Singer two factor theory highlights the importance of both physical arousal and cognitive interpretation in shaping our emotional experiences. It suggests that emotions are not just automatic responses to our body's reactions, but also depend on how we think about what's happening around us. This theory offers a more complete understanding of emotions, showing that our thoughts and perceptions play a critical role in how we feel. Whether we're feeling happy, sad, excited, or angry, our emotions are shaped by both our physical sensations and how we interpret them.